getting this complete set, first of all, was really important to me um, because I felt like we had this set of portraits and it didn't include our two women presidents. And I felt like we needed to show that we were interested in preserving the history of the university. So that's why I thought it was especially important to work with the president's office and the Center for Advancement to commission the new portraits to complete the set and commit to getting portraits of all future presidents down the road. So the Presidential Portrait Gallery um, really falls under my purview because I'm responsible as the university conservator for all the care of the collections, and this includes paintings. So as a book conservator, I have to spread my wings a little bit and look at other kinds of materials. And of course, the paintings fall into that category. The painting conservator that we selected was Sarah Bozen. Sarah is a native Iowan, and she did really amazing training outside of Iowa. So she studied in Europe, but also in Chicago. This kind of experience is really imperative to find a really skilled paintings conservator. We wanted the best that we could find for our collection of paintings. The University of Iowa reached out to me regarding several portraits of former presidents of the university um, that are in need of some conservation work. I went and examined them and there's a wide variety of need throughout them. The Spencer portrait is definitely in the most need. I wanted to show you kind of the underlayers of the painting. So I've removed a synthetic varnish that's on part of the painting. And then I've also removed some of the natural resin original varnish as well. So you can see the differences between the two. You can see some of the damage of the painting. And you can also see what it, um, the part that I have not cleaned, you can see where it's kind of coming from and why it needs to be addressed. So I'll try to continue some of that shaping, like around the ear with the, um, this darker bit of hair, and I'll bring in this uh, dark red for the side of the face. Portraits really draw the, the viewer in. It's a, a way that we relate to the sitter, uh, relate to the person in the portrait. And I feel that people can start to relate a little bit with the university history as they see each president, as they see the characteristics and the, the unique character, characteristics of each president as they look at the portraits. I think that's really important for us to, to um, preserve that. Without art conservation, artworks will die eventually. You won't be able to see them anymore, damages can't be fixed and you, you lose history. The Presidential Portrait Gallery isn't just portraits on the wall. It's not just works of art in oil or drawings, what have you. It really is living history and it's a way for us to track that history and make it available to students, faculty, and the community. And I think this is part of the library's responsibility to the university to help preserve these portraits and to create a space where folks can come to learn more and to have conversations about the role of leadership in the university, in the world, and beyond.